First and foremost, I think we need to say a big thank you to our, our travelling away fans. Um, I think we've been dealt quite a, a cruel hand this year in terms of our away matches. Um, already having Blackburn away, Swansea away and Leeds United away all on a midweek evening. Um, I think it's an, an amazing effort from our Bees fans um, on the road um, and we want to reward all of our travelling supporters with free coach travel to Bristol City on New Year's Day. I'm delighted with the ticket sales um, and again our ticket office have worked really hard along with our campaigns and promotions team to really drive ticket sales to be 25% up on where we were this time last year is incredible. Um, we always knew that we were going to get a bounce with the farewell to Griffin Park season but to be 25% up uh, like for like on November and 11% up uh, across the season today is, is fantastic work from, from everybody be, uh, involved behind the scenes um, and especially our box office staff who've, who've worked tirelessly. I've just come back from the new stadium site, um, everything's on track. Um, we have one issue, um, it's fair to say we've got a, a problem with the Foxes and we're not talking Leicester City. Um, the Foxes have been out on the pitch and, and dug a few holes. So that's something that is a concern to us, um, clearly because we've got the Deso surface that's been laid um, and it's important that we, we get that in the best possible state uh, ready for the start of next season. But um, everything's on track. Um, all of the seats are now pretty much in. Um, premium seating areas are start, starting to take shape, as are the, the, the TV gantry areas, um, players' dressing rooms now. You can see the, the, the shape of the dressing room area. We hope to get something announced early part of the new year on naming rights, uh, along with some of our founding partner deals. So again, commercial team here at 27 Great West Road have been working hard. Um, we've had more meetings than we've had ever before with interested parties. So um, I'm really pleased with the way that's shaping up. Obviously the dugout is the, um, the first of our premium season tickets. Um, Ticket sales have gone incredibly well. I think we've only got a hundred of them left now. Premium seats are still selling through. Um, we're going to have a big, big push in the new year. Um, hopefully there'll be a lot more noise around Brentford Football Club in the new year with season ticket sales going on, out into the market. Um, also hopefully with some announcements from a commercial perspective. So we'll be pushing hard all of our premium seats, um, both um, at the uh, 1889 level, the railway level and the orchard level, but moving down into the Legends Lounge and the Fortress. We're looking to do a big announcement this side of Christmas, um, so watch out at home for your season ticket packs, which we hope are going to land very, very soon. Um, one of our core business objectives here at Brentford is that seamless move from Griffin Park to the new stadium and the migration of our season ticket holders is of paramount concern to us. So we're working really hard to make sure that the packs have every bit of information in them that you're going to need when it comes to buying your season tickets for the new stadium. But what we do urge everyone to do is to make sure that they've got on the Brentford FC website all of their details um, are up to date so that when we do send out the packs, they're going to the right people at the right time. It's been a very, very busy month for fan and community services team. They've been active with the uh, Rainbow Laces Day uh, and the Kick It Out event, um, which, which really highlights how everybody is really welcome at Griffin Park. So on behalf of Thomas and the team, um, the board and all the off-field staff here at 27 Great West Road, all that remains for me to say is have a great Christmas and a very happy new year to one and all.